Greetings. I am a dragon alchemist, and allow me to entertain you. I am once again playing Fallout 4, where I arrived at Bunker Hill. We just finished uh, dealing with Covenant, and I decided to pop by, <coughs> see what's going on, talk to Stockton. Huh. I haven't seen you before. If you need a doctor, let's get you examined. As well as offload some Actually, uh, I need some weapons. supplies for the road. All right, but go easy on the chems. Yeah, not interested in your chems, just your caps. So yeah, most of this stuff. I did pick up a lot, actually, from the, uh, from the compound. Nothing really heavyweight. Let's see. Chems. Yeah, actually, get rid of the Mentats. I don't use that. Definitely get rid of the Psycho. It will be a very hard-pressing day that I need to use Chems for any situation. I prefer to let my bullets do the work. And my tactical thoughts. If I need to get... I'm Stockton. You've heard of old man Stockton, yes? Yes, uh, thoughts were interrupted because I just found out, found who I was looking for. Old man Stockton. I run three caravans that travel throughout the Commonwealth. You there. We need to have a conversation. Yeah, that's a bit rude to interrupt, but, uh, do I know you? Do I know you? No, but I've heard of you. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. Well, I do tend to get into dangerous situations if it's worth it. What's the job? I don't know yet. Whatever needs to be done once my boss has had a look at you, I can assure you that it will be dangerous and that you'll be paid fairly. Well, never been one to turn down a quest that isn't exactly, uh, well, unethical. I live for danger. Where do I sign up? I like your enthusiasm. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. Well... I <clears throat> just got a job offer, and that just caused me to lose Stockton. Thank you, Edward. Well, where'd he go? The thing is, he didn't say a thing about his daughter. You would think that would be a major point. Where is he? Hello? Stockton! Stockton, I I want to chat with you. Oh, there you go. Buy anything from Good Neighbor or Diamond City? Odds are it's been delivered by my men. Stockton, if you ever find yourself needing to buy or sell something, especially in bulk, talk to one of my employees in the market. Well, that's rather disappointing. Not a word said about uh, his daughter. Make a move, and I'll end you, Wastelander. I'm not even thinking about it. Just my disappointment. Well, while I'm here... Load a little heavy there? I'll buy anything you don't need, and sell everything you do. Uh, ooh. You got a job for me? Well, let's ask about her store first. This your store? Uh, yeah, you got it. Caravans come through here. I buy whatever they don't want, fix it up, and sell the good stuff to the next caravan. But hey, no reason I can't sell to a drifter like you. Caps are caps. Uh, let's ask about Bunker Hill. What's your opinion of Bunker Hill? Well, it's nice enough. Grew up with the caravan, so I feel right at home here. Don't like how we have to pay Raiders protection money, but that's the cost of doing business in the middle of everywhere. Speaking of which, I got a lot of useful supplies here that need a home. Look at them. So lonely. I'm guessing the job has something to do with those Raiders she mentioned. You give Raiders protection money? Yep. Surprise me, a Kessler managed to pull that off, but... She's convinced them that Bunker Hill is worth more alive than dead. I hate that we don't stand up to him, but what can we do? We're caravan folk, not an army. Mm, let's ask about anything new before we get to the job. Anything new in the store? Same old, same old. Take a look for yourself. Right, let's ask about the job then, and I guess I know what it is. Raider elimination. Do you have any paying work? Yeah, I have something. 
It ain't easy, though. Caravanas just love swapping tall tales. But I've heard one story enough times, there's gotta be some truth to it. Apparently, the Northern Road goes straight through an old military training yard that's just crawling with a horde of feral ghouls. And that's cutting into my bottom line. So you take care of that, and maybe I can throw a few caps your way. Not exactly what I had in mind, but, uh... How many ghouls be talking about? Who knows? The number keeps growing the more drinks the caravan hands down at the way station. No matter how many of them there are, they're scaring away caravans and customers alike. Right. Well, I may as well do it. I'll take care of your feral problem. Great. If you want to stock up first, you never know when one of my knickknacks will keep you alive. You're you're pretty much thinking. Excuse me. If I'm I, I might die there, you may as well take the, co myself, the caps so off it's me all now. Guaranteed. <laughs> Unless you need to return it. Because well, well cynical as it is, like, it, my it can is work fast. out. Because you don't know me. I am in an unknown equation. You don't know what I can do. You'll find out what I can do later, though. That's for sure. Mm, I like. I like what I see, but uh, nothing for me today. Okay. She mentioned a mayor. Maybe that mayor might have a <laughs> job for me. Better buy my big guns now, because you bet your ass your enemies will. What's for sale? What kind of stuff do you have? If it can chamber cock and spit out lead, then I sell it. I sell slashers and clobberers, too, for those maniacs that like it up close. But hot death flying faster than the speed of sound? Oh, my knees are getting weak just from thinking about it. Um, you by any chance uh, got a stock of Psycho? I've got a few minutes to browse. A part of every big purchase goes to planting little bitty trees that I'll blow up in your honor. Because if she doesn't have any Psycho on her... Yeah. Well, apparently, apparently she's just like that. No Psycho involved there. Which is either A, very comforting, or B, very worrying. Alright. Let's see where this mayor is. Maybe, maybe the mayor's got the job instead of the random conversations. Okay. Caravan worker. There's Edward. Oh, Kessler. <coughs> Markets the white building with all the fancy columns. Always someone doing trade in there. Kay can patch you up if you're hurt. Best no, doc no, you're around. not offering anything. Well, that's a disappointment. All right, I'm gonna give this town a good pass, and if I don't find the mayor, I'm just gonna head off and deal with this feral ghoul problem for them. <clears throat> Fine place to sleep right here. Reasonable rate. Uh, nah. Not today. Might want to hit Paul for a drink before you go. Uh huh. Yeah, no. Nope. Hi. Bar's open. Just don't get so drunk you shoot up the place. I don't drink. Gonna pass. So you don't have to worry about so that. So many stools. So. Uh huh. All right. So no sign of the mayor yet. I just hope she's not on top of the tower because I'm not going up to that tower. That's just, that's just a big delay. Come out, come out. Oh, oh, hello, hello. Someone's waiting outside. In one piece. All right, who's in charge of security here? Who left the door open? Ours now. Yeah, that was a big oversight on their part. Okay, I don't think the mayor is around. Nope, does not look like it. Or if I did talk to the mayor, she's not offering. Or he's not offering. Either way. Worst part of being a lookout in the obelisk? Forgetting your lunch. Hey, at least it's honest work. Yep, it does not look like she's present. Well, let's go on and deal with this feral ghoul problem. That, that. Come on, move. Clear the training yard. 
And let's check the map, and it's slightly up the road. Oh, now you're doing your security patrols. A little late for that. Alright, let's keep moving. Don't need the cigarettes. I know they give asbestos, but, uh... I rarely, if ever, run out of that. Okay, scan the road before I move it along. What the hell was that? Oh, oh, uh, oh, someone's inside. And it's a drug den. Well, let's pay them a visit. Knock, knock! Vice squad coming in! Someone just lit up a cigarette. Alright, let's go slow here. Don't let them know I'm here. Oh yeah, they're drugging up real hard now. Think you can hide? That was a disappointment, and a half. Oh man, come back! I was fired. Oh, what the hell? Okay, I will admit, camping out on the stairs was not exactly the best idea I had. But that guy wrecked me. And apparently, they can take a nine millimeter, well, ten millimeter to the head. No. Issue. You know what? Let's just take everything that for now. Where? Oh, there you are. Like a right melon. All right. Take cover behind the fridge and wait for them to come down. What in the world is he hitting me with? Okay. I'm a little miffed at that. What? Light him up! Okay. This SMG is rather disappointing. And I'm going to be taking cover down here at the moment. What the heck is he hitting me with? Okay. Oh, and now he's dead. Thank you for the assist, Piper. But what in the world is he hitting me with, really? Hmm? Let's see if he comes down. He's coming down. Get him, motherfucker! Pop, pop! Hey, this is a drug dead. What did you expect? Hey. Okay. Now that he didn't rush me, that went much better. And I think that's the last of them. Okay. Well. Sighted heavy combat rifle. Well, I suppose that explains a bit. Not some cheap pipe pistol. He was hitting me with something really heavy duty. That and chems may have been taken into account. I know someone's on the roof. Someone was on the roof that had seen me coming in. Yep, and they still are aware of me, too. That's not good. Oh, hello! Well, keep looking the other way into a bullshit. wall. Ah! 
Yeah, I have no idea what you were looking at. Well, all things considered. That went rather well. I did not men intend to drop like that. Alright. Let us quick save and move along from that minor distraction. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna head and see that giant ship. I've been putting off coming here for a while. I wanted to just hold off a bit. But now that I'm actually here, I may as well just get the map marker on. And just... Later. Scanning. Scanning. Accessing pre-war records. Record found. 108th Infantry Regiment, 2nd Battalion. Ahoy there. Tis Providence a member of the Congressional Army is delivered to us in our hour of need. Yeah, let's ask about the Congressional Army. I was in the Army, but what's the Congressional Army? Standing order, sir. Proclamation 3. All members of the U.S. Army are hereby members of the Congressional Army. The captain requests your presence on the bridge. At the double quick, sir. That doesn't explain much. Well. Whatever happened here apparently took out this poor attack dog. He has no head left. Or she. I don't know. I don't intend to find out either. Oh, I did not intend to pick up a tibia. Well, let's... What in the world? Oh. Stuff inside. Little ruins. Beware, soldier. Enemies lie in wait. So yes, last voyage of the USS Constitution. This is gonna be fun. And all the safes are emptied. Pretty much what you'd expect. And I've looted this section. Time to head upstairs. I'm nah. confused. This didn't sail up here, right? <laughs> you didn't notice the giant booster rockets? The potentially explosive booster rockets, maybe? If you didn't, we're going to be walking right beside them now. I don't intend to do the whole quest here yet, but uh, I'll do what I can along the way. I may as well just pick it up and do it as I go. This is the captain speaking. We're taking on an allied soldier. Clear the berth, disable defenses, make way. I'll just say this now. I am a fan of old-timey ships. I'm an even bigger fan of things like... the uh, iron ships. As in... Midshipmen, stand down! Modern stand ships Stand down, well. I say! This soldier is a guest on our vessel. Please afford him all appropriate courtesies. I... I've sunk a lot of hours playing old-fashioned pirate games. The ones where you sail along on a ship and you have to manually... Identified. Intruder. Intruder. Mr. First Mate, this is the captain. This soldier is no intruder. Requesting permission to use lethal force. Uh, let's, uh, calm him down. Whoa, whoa, easy there. Unable to comply. Stand down! That's an order! And for God's sake, use the accent! <laughs> Captain, standing down. Well, that's a nice how do you do. Hey, first mate. Clear deck of intruders. Error. 
Yay, bloodthirsty piracy robots. It is an honor to crew such a story vessel. Though technically they're not pirates. But yeah, as I was saying, I suck a lot of time into those uh, old-fashioned pirate games where you've got to make sure you've got the right angle on your enemy ship and fire up on them. I've watched a lot of people playing Black Wake. Really makes me wish I uh, uh, got some spare cash for that. But uh, at the same time, it makes me consider who would I play with. I at least understand the angles of where to fire and position the ship. Someone's not interested in visitors. I'll have none of your lip, Mr. Navigator. Have the crow's nest scan two points off the port bow. Jump to it. Aye, Captain. Our soldier has arrived. I trust the first mate didn't give you too hard a time. Been too long since we've seen the Congressional Army. Yeah, what's going on here? First mate, Congressional Army? Wh why are you talking like that? This is the pride of our Navy, the USS Constitution. As her commander, it is my privilege to enforce a certain measure of decorum amongst my crew. Uh, well... I suppose it's old-fashioned programming, so let's just get to it. Your lookout told me to come up here. Why? I confess, we need your assistance. You visit this fine vessel in trying times. Be calm these long years on her airy perch. Damn you, Weatherby Savings alone! I spit at you. <laughs> yeah, don't even bother trying to convince them otherwise. It's in their programming. Trying to talk out a program is like trying to talk down a forklift. So let's humor him. A sad state of affairs for such a historic ship. Seems the old girl deserves better. On that, we are in agreement. What vexes me most is my inability to assist in the war effort. My gun decks have not but more rats and ne'er-do-wells as targets. Enough pleasantries. The Constitution has systems that need repairs to carry out its mission. Uh, let's ask about the war effort. What war effort? Against Communist China, of course. But if any Redcoats or Canadians sail nearby, I will give them a good thrashing, to be sure. To avenge the burning of our nation's capital would be a sweet victory indeed. Consult with the bosun and Mr. Navigator. They will relay your instructions. Dismissed. Yeah, you're kind of a... Soldier, ban the cannons. Kill them only as a last resort. A few warning shots usually suffice to scare that rabble off. The cannons are ready. Fire at will. Keep firing, soldier. Now they're firing. Now they've opened fire. Hold still. Uh, switch off. No, I actually need the sniper rifle. Back to heal. Aid and let's see, that's not crunchy. Squirrel on a sickle, do. Firing the cannons. Pretty hard to see anything down there. Hopefully, the same could be said for the AI shooting at me, but uh... there we go. Oop, that guy's a legendary. You're not escaping. Ah, stopped. Now he's dead. Alright, I'm gonna have to go down there to pick stuff up soon. Let's see. Well, if you're, if you're fleeing, I'm not gonna shoot at a fleeing target. 
citizens, you may now resume your normal activities. Well, that went rather well. Took a few dings here and there. But I am all right. Captain Ironsides. Consult with the bosun and Mr. Navigator. And you are the just a regular protector on never mind. I think they're down below. Well, didn't expect it to turn out that badly, but uh I'd say I went. Your very presence does this humble unit a great honor. My programming would find it amiss if I did not also interject. Long live the captain! <laughs> uh, well, holding my previous thoughts, often interject. Do you often just interject, as you put it? Indeed I do. I exclaim from exuberance, and not because I've been reprogrammed five times to wholeheartedly embrace these marvelous turns of phrase and, and acronisms. My metal heart burns with a fierce love and affection for our captain. Huzzah! I don't know if that's enthusiastic because of the programming and has a slight undercurrent of repulsion. Why were you reprogrammed? Was the captain involved? You would have me speak. You Reload! I... Normally I'm not one to do this, but uh, for the sake of just the story, because there's no ramifications if you do fail, but I want whoever's watching to at least get a taste of what's happening in here. Why were you reprogrammed? Was the captain involved? You would have me speak. Nope, nope. We're going for this again. Why were you reprogrammed? Was the captain involved? I will confide this only as a cautionary tale. The captain requires all crew to speak in the proper idiom. We are the inheritors of a sacred tradition. There was a time I thought he was, well, balmy. With my new programming, I see his incalculable wisdom. Our last marine expedition valiantly returned with much needed supplies, including replacement power cables, sir. Alas, with my severe lack of appendages, I find myself unequal to the task of repairing the cables myself. Yeah, apparently if this guy was a human pirate in the ye olden days, he'd require two hook hands is basically what he's saying. Yeah, I'll help. I'll get right on it. My anxiety emulators are lightning by the microsec. Once you have resolved this matter, I beseech you to return to me to accept my undying gratitude. So, apparently optional, grab the power key. Let's see a uh, level up. As I said, I've held off on uh, getting this locked in for a little too long. Too many missed opportunities, and I can like that. Oh yeah, I also wanted to put this quest on. It is an honor to crew such a story, that's all. Ooh, I can jury rig it. Replace replacement power. Install the new ones, or just salvage the replacement power cables. Let's see. Would that be under... New power cables. Two copper, three steel. I am in desperate need of copper. So, I'll jury rig right the Constitution. Drop two through the deck. Salvage. So yeah, I get to keep the copper. Steel as well, but the copper is what's most important at the moment. I don't know why the combat music is still going on. All is well. Defending the Constitution. Hey, Bosun. Oh. How courses through the Constitution's veins again? Her systems long starved, forgot her life. <laughs> A hearty congratulation. Huzzah! However, this has brought to mind further failures in our power grid. The power relay, our shame, I previously complained about is fluctuating wildly. Alright. So, uh, 
All right. Power relay coils not a common enough part. Might I recommend checking the local shopkeeps? Surely they would be of some assistance. Fair winds and following seeds. Or I can just uh, do the repairs right here and now, if I can. Yes, I do. I have enough intelligence for it. So yeah, that uh, shortened this quest quite a bit. Close. Power flows fast and steady. I would applaud you. Alas, cannot due to my lack of clapping instruments. But huzzah, sir! Huzzah! Well. You're welcome. Well, you're very welcome, Bosun. You are too kind. I require no further assistance. But our Mr. Navigator is also beset by troubles. Scuttlebutties, our guidance system is on our last legs. If you've not already, speak to him. Fare thee well. Right. Well, let's deal with the Navigator, which I presume is going to be the quest marker down below. Still don't know why the combat music is going on. So yeah, robots reprogramming robots. A bit worrisome. Now, if he can't change his own programming, or have another robot change his programming, I feel a little better about that. But when you've got inflexible, uh, inflexible programming like that, and then you put it upon other robots, that's just worrying. That's just rife for bad errors. They are not AI. They do not have the spark of creativity. Ahoy, soldier. Scavenger threat eliminated. Damage assessment will commence after this unit has completed scheduled duties. Yeah, good defense. You robots do a good job of defending your ship. Proclamation 1. Defend the Constitution by any means necessary. Guidance system offline. Multiple errors diagnosed. First error. Guidance chip stolen. This unit requires its return. Uh, so who stole it? Who stole your guidance chip? Human scavengers assaulted this vessel. Destroyed naval property. Stole chip. Reclaim chip at scavengers forward recon station. Captain has approved a bounty. For its return. Lethal force is prohibited unless absolutely necessary. Aft dinghy unlocked and available for your use, sir. Fair enough. So yeah, scavengers that have previously attacked the ship have taken their guidance ship, and I must get it back. And to do so without killing them if possible. Yeah, that's a disappointment. Well, I'm just going to be scavenging around here then. What a round. I still don't know why the battle music is still going. Oh well, doesn't really matter. Let's finish scavenging around here. And at this point, I think I'm going to put the episode to an end here. But when we come back, I will deal with these scavengers, either diplomatically or not. But for now, I hope I have entertained you. Farewell. <laughs>